Hello there, welcome back to Martial Arts Month. I'm Scotty, you're not. And uh, I'm Scotty, you're not, you know what I mean. <clears throat> and today we're, we're going to talk about American Ninja, star starring a guy with the coolest name ever, Michael Dudikoff. Okay, full discretion here. Um, so I should have been doing that kind of intro from the beginning, but... Uh, this thing was low on battery, so I couldn't do it. That's why I haven't had any walking in intros lately, because it was deep. So, but it is now charged, so I can start doing that again, but grease your own. So, American Ninja. So, it was the genesis of this whole month was that I saw all the Kickboxer sequels were on there, on Tubi, as well as most. Of the American Ninja. Only five wasn't on there. It's on YouTube. We'll get to that when we get to it. But and upon studying this franchise, it's interesting. We'll get to it as we go along, but the protagonists change and then come back and then the actor comes back, but it's not the same character, but it's the name of the character before I I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so American Ninja stars Michael Dudikoff as Joe, this guy who is on an, uh, I don't want to say army, but, like, a military base who has secret ninja training that he doesn't know how he knows it, how he has it, because he has amnesia, and when evil ninjas show up, he fights them off and eventually has to save his love interest from them. And, yeah. So right away, this movie starts off with Joe is driving this vehicle. It's the daughter of a colonel. And this militia's attack. So he fights off the militia and saves her from the ninjas. I'm going full discretion with this and full spoilers. So... At first, I was confused when I was watching this because they make some reveals. I watched this and I had to watch um, Red Eye Review's review of it twice to kind of understand what's going on. Because at first, I thought the ninjas were trying. I missed the militias at the beginning because I am still also playing 2K24 and I'm trying to pay attention. It's not the best, but because uh, I was confused because later it's revealed. That the colonel is in on the bad guy's operation. And I'm like, wait, why did he have the ninjas kidnap his own daughter? Later, the guy has the ninjas kidnap the daughter again. Because he feels like his business partner is is not working out. So it's sort of a, you gotta do what I want you to do. Or I will kill your daughter situation. But I was confused at the beginning why it would happen. Why he didn't scold them. And then watching his reviews review twice in a row i came to the realization no it was the militia that was the militias that was trying to kidnap her and he got involved and took them and then the ninjas showed up so i can assume the ninjas were trying like he saved her but the colonel got word told his partner and they sent the ninjas which would be kind of conspicuous but after doing this he saves her i thought this movie was going to be like a Rambo First Blood Part 2 situation where they're in the jungle the entire time and he's got to defend her. It's also the first Rambo where he's in the jungle. But the second one has him in the, the love interest who's killed off towards the end. So Rambo has uh, means, of, you know, motive. There's a motive to go after the, the bad guys. But no. It, the them in the jungle is not that long. There's a whole thing where, um, by the way, if you recognize the actress playing Patricia. She was in one of the fi Friday the Thirteenth movies. I don't remember which one it was. Four, I think it was. And then she was also in Weird Science, the movie, on the TV show. I'm assuming she was the Wyatt's love interest girl in that one. I think. I don't know. I don't know. But, so there's this whole thing where they're in the jungle, and he's like, oh, uh, you have to take your clothes off, they're wet. And then she's like behind this 
in the these trees or bushes or something the whole time, which can be dangerous. You don't know if there's like poison bushes or something. But he's in like his underwear that didn't get. I don't know. It's it's weird. I guess respect. You know, respect boundaries. That that's cool. That's cool. But it's just. I don't know. Why is she completely naked, but he's not an underwear thing going on? I don't know. But then he drives off the clothes and then he takes her back. And then because of his heroic actions, some people died. So some people are not very happy with him. But that does not include his buddy Charlie and Jackson. Curtis Jackson. Now 50 Cent. Different Curtis Jackson. But uh, it becomes a vision of buddy. They have a sparring match, you know. I also want to point out that we, uh, we do flash over, you know, we're not just following Joe. We're also following the villain, who is French. But not really French because the actor's from Nebraska. For some reason, they decided either the filmmakers decided he should be French or he decided he wanted to be French. And this is canon film, so they didn't care. They just wanted to put out a movie and make money. That's all they cared about. It, if you look at the history of canon films, a lot of films are just thrown out there. That's why you find there's a lot of sequels in canon films because they wanted to make a lot of money. Just saying. But, um... Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this villain also has, like, a gardener. A Japanese gardener who becomes very important later on in the film. So, Joe is then put on a mission to, okay, first of all, Charlie is driving Patricia back now, and she convinces Charlie to arrange a meeting, so he has to take this note, he has a note, and he has to deliver it to someone, it turns out to be her, but the note's for him, because they want to have a dinner together, and during the dinner, one of the bad guy generals is there and sees it, and orders... Joe to be killed, but it doesn't work. And so there is he's put on a mission. We're supposed to be a death mission, but he's able to fight them off. But because it doesn't go the right way, he is punished a, for you know losing the cargo or whatever. And so then this is where it's revealed that the general, the colonel, Patricia's dad, is in on it. So I re I don't know. It's just weird. I should, it's still weird that the ninjas go after them. By the way, they do show these ninjas in action. And there's this lead ninja guy. He's supposed to be so badass. He fight, fights off four other orange ninjas. And kills one of them. And the only response we get from the guy is, Oh, he is a, he is an honor to be killed by such a ninja. And I'm like, I, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> Like, oh, you would be honored to be killed by the Master of Ninja. And I'm just like, no, I, I've i never gotten that. It would be my honor to die for you. No, I'm never going to be like that. Because it's like, you want me to die? Fuck you. I'm going to die. I'm not going to die. Unless the only person I would ever die for, to quote Vin Diesel, family. Only if it's family. Particularly my mother. Or my son. Hey, my sister too. My sister too. Okay, I would say... Okay, now you know how you tell your friends, Oh, I take a bullet for you, man. I take a bullet for you. My friend Eric and I said that back and forth. And I don't know if I could officially say this, but I don't think we'd ever actually take a bullet for for each other. I, I, I don't know. He might. I don't know. I do, I, okay, I'll take a bullet for you. Just shoot me in the leg. Make sure you don't hit the tendons. Can you just, can you, can you shoot my foot? Can you just hit me in the shoulder here? You know, nothing lethal. I'll take a bullet. Don't shoot him. Shoot my, just right here, just right here. Just, just, just do it right there, right there. You know, this something, to, I, I don't know. I've said it before. But he also knows I have a very, very low threshold of pain. And I don't know, you know, I'm just saying. But what was that even coming then? 
But yeah, like I wouldn't uh, be an honor to die for someone. Uh, I don't know. And if you like love the woman so much, I don't have that. But anyway, so he's like completely unabashed, and he's 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 completely you know disavowed, and he's you know, punished for this, and but. Uh, that doesn't work out the way he wants it to do. So they end up kid the ninjas the 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 French bad guy sees that his partnership with the colonel might not be going the way he wants it to. So he kidnaps the daughter again. Or he actually kidnaps this time because it wasn't Or was was the militia working for that other general though? So it could have been an inside job too? But she waves at that general like he's a friend, so maybe she doesn't know he's the militias are working for I don't know. There's a, there's a headache here. So uh but he finds out from the gardener, he goes to the French guy's house and he meets the gardener and this is where the past is revealed, because remember he has amnesia. So it's revealed that the gardener raised him from a baby and called him Joe because that was the only American name he knew. Although the credits list him is Joe Armstrong. So is that the only last name he knew? He has to have a last name because he's in the military. I don't know. And he taught him how to be a ninja. And there was some sort of explosion when he was like 11 or 12. That caused the amnesia. And he just... Never went back for him, and he just raised military stuff, I guess. I don't know. Now they're reunited all these years later. Not that it does much. So he decided... So after doing just a... It's not like a training montage or anything, like kick, like Kickbox or a Rocky, but like... There are several fights throughout the film. They're very done very well. Obviously, there's a lot of stuntmen. There's one time that Joe is on a motorbike, and he jumps off, and the stuntman just... Biffs his head on the, on the, on the front, on the, you know, just biffs his head and just, damn. Like, you know that's not Joe, but like, he could be wearing a helmet, but he just, he takes it off a building. He's on top of the building and he jumps, or he jumps over to get to, I think that's when he delivers the note. As he jumps over the thing to deliver the note. I do have a complaint. It's a minor one, but it's time for the climax. The old Japanese master shows up, but Jackson is not there. I mean, I think he's one of the military guys that shows up later when the military does decide to come help him. But you think Jackson would be by his side, being his buddy and all. I don't blame Charlie for not being there, but you know, Jackson, maybe he's one of the military guys. I, I couldn't tell. No, that's not a, oh, I, I'll, they all look the same joke. I just, there was so much going on, I wasn't paying attention enough. And I couldn't tell in his reviews either. His, the time, both times I watched the review, I tried to look, and I couldn't see him. But again, you're editing and you're cutting around, who knows? I just didn't pay attention enough. Sorry. So, then we got him being a ninja, but his face is gone the entire time. And this is the reason why Chuck Norris was not the star of this movie. Because Chuck Norris did not want his face to be covered at all. Because he's a, a Chuck Norris! So he doesn't need to have his face covered. Chuck Norris doesn't wear face covers. Your face is covered by Chuck Norris. I didn't work out. Chuck Norris doesn't wear face covers. The face covers wear Chuck Norris. A Chuck Norris! There we go. Um, <laughs> ah, I don't know how that works. But anyway, yeah, he sets it up. And then the lead ninja guy is back. You know the guy I mentioned earlier? They killed the things. The that the orange ninja, you know, he's an honor to to the show. He's badass. And now he's just shooting off a laser that he shoots once and never again. What's the point of that? All he does is destroy a potted plant or a potted tree. It's, I think it's a tree. And the Ninja Master is there for five minutes or so until he dies. And now he has extra motivation 
to stop these ninjas as if saving the woman he loved isn't enough. Now the guy who he just found out raised him, which is probably the least attachment, or least attachment he would have because, you know, technically he's known her longer. Because he doesn't remember everything from him. Although he might remember more now. But anyway. Oh yeah, Jackson is there. Jackson is there. I just remember Jackson is there. Because he's got this bazooka thing set up. And so Joe has to rescue her. And he's on there going, come on, Joe. Come on. Come on, Joe. Get her out of it. Get out of there, Joe. Come on. Come on now. And so then he gets him out of there. And he blows the fucking... Chopper, Pfft, sky high. I don't remember if it's the French guy or the lead ninja. I think it's the French guy that's in it, but just blows it up. And then, in an odd choice, he saves her. They jump onto the roof, which clearly you would go through the roof, but they land on some kind of pad, apparently. And so, when they land, like, he gets up and he turns to the camera and he zooms in and he goes, and who just ends? There's no wrap-up scene. There's nothing. There's no, yeah, man, you did it, Joe, with Jackson. There's no, thank you for saving me. There's no kiss, which is what you think a movie like this should end with. There's a kiss with the female. Start. Nope, nothing. There is nothing. Just, he turns around. He stands there. End. Now, I will say I did enjoy this. So I'm going to give it a very high middle of the road. This this was a fun watch. You know, You know, as soon as I saw the... Canon Films logo, I'm like, ah, schlock. Okay, this, this is going to be cheap, and it, but it's going to be entertaining. And that's exactly what it was. It was cheap, schlocky entertainment. Not a lot of schlock, but it is, you know, what you would expect to get out of a Canon film. And Canon has some good films, like the Van Damme ones, Kickboxer, Bloodsport, and Cyborg are all good. My opinion, and you know, you got Stallone ones too, over the top, which I haven't yet seen. Sorry, sorry, but yeah, this this is a decent start to this franchise. Uh, not once, now once in the entire review, do I feel the need to yawn, and we get towards the end, you know, at least one, right? Right, so what are your thoughts on American Ninja? Let me know, slow, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and join me as I go along this very weird, like, franchise. So, thank you for watching. I'm Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.